Yashar Jasher 73, part 2. So all the children of Cush heard the words of Moshe, and they rose up and caused a proclamation to be issued throughout the camp, saying, Unto you, all the children of Cush, the king's order is that you go all together to the forest and catch there the young storks, each man his young one in his hand, and you shall bring them home. And any person violating the order of the king shall die. And the king will take all that belongs to him. And all the people did so. And they went out to the wood and they climbed the fir trees and caught each man a young one in his hand, all the young of the storks. And they brought them into the desert and reared them by order of the king. And they taught them to dart upon similar to the young hawks. And after the young storks were reared, the king ordered them to be hungered for three days. And all the people did so. And on the third day, the king said unto them, Strengthen yourselves and become valiant men, and put on each man his armor, and gird on his sword upon him, and ride each man his horse, and take each his young stork in his hand. And we will rise up and fight against the city at the place where the serpents are. And all the people did as the king had ordered. And they took each man his young one in his hand, and they went away. And when they came to the place of the serpents, the king said to them, Send forth each man his young stork upon the serpents. And they sent forth each man his young stork at the king's orders, rather order. And the young storks ran upon the serpents, and they devoured them all and destroyed them out of that place. And when the king and people had seen that all the serpents were destroyed in that place, all the people set up a great shout. And they approached and fought against the city and took it and subdued it, and they entered the city. And there died on that day 1,100 men of the people of the city all that inhabited the city, but of the people besieging, not one died. So all the children of Cush went each to his home, to his woman and children, and to all belonging to him. And Bilam the magician, when he saw that the city was taken, he opened the gate and he and his two sons and eight brothers fled and returned to Mitzrayim, to Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim. They are the sorcerers and magicians who are mentioned in the Sefer of the Torah, standing against Moshe when Yahuwah brought the plagues upon Mitzrayim. So, Moshe took the city by his wisdom, and the children of Cush placed him on the throne instead of Kikanis, king of Cush. And they placed the royal crown upon his head, and they gave him for a woman Adoniah, the Cushy queen, queen of Kikanis. And Moshe feared Yahuwah Elohim of his fathers, so that he came not to her, nor did he turn his eyes to her. For Moshe remembered how Avraham had made his servant Eliezer swear, saying unto him, You shall not take a woman from the daughters of Canaan, for my son Yishach. Also, what Yishach did when Yaakov had fled from his brother, 
when he commanded him, saying, You shall not take a woman from the daughters of Canaan, nor make alliance with any of the children of Ham. For Yahuwah Eloheinu gave Ham the son of Noach and his children and all his seeds as slaves to the children of Shem and to the children of Japheth and unto their seed after them for slaves forever. Therefore, Moshe turned not his heart nor his eyes to the woman of Kikanis all the days that he reigned over Cush. And Moshe feared Yahuwah Elohehu. Rather, Yahuwah Elohehu all his life. And Moshe walked before Yahuwah in truth with all his heart and soul. He turned not from the right way all the days of his life. He declined not from the way, either to the right or to the left, in which Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov had walked. And Moshe strengthened himself in the kingdom of the children of Cush, and he guided the children of Cush with his usual wisdom, and Moshe prospered in his kingdom. And at that time, Aram and the children of the east heard that Kikanis, king of Cush, had died. So Aram and the children of the east rebelled against Cush in those days. And Moshe gathered all the children of Cush, a people very mighty, about 30,000 men. And he went forth to fight with Aram and the children of the east. And they went at first to the children of the east. And when the children of the east heard their report, they went to meet them and engaged in battle with them. And the war was severe against the children of the east. So Yahuwah gave all the children of the east into the hand of Moshe, and about three hundred men fell down slain. And all the children of the east turned back and retreated. So Moshe and the children of Cush followed them and subdued them and put a tax upon them, as was their custom. So Moshe and all the people with him passed from there to the land of Aram for battle. And the people of Aram also went to meet them, and they fought against them. And Yahuwah delivered them into the hand of Moshe. And many of the men of Aram fell down wounded, and Aram also were subdued by Moshe. Hello! And the people of Cush, and also gave their usual tax. And Moshe brought Aram and the children of the east under subjection to the children of Cush. And Moshe and all the people who were with him turned to the land of Cush. And Moshe strengthened himself in the kingdom of the children of Cush. And Yahuwah was with him. And all the children of Cush were afraid of him.